Hello there guys, I'm back again with a new video. This one will be a little bit different than the other one. I'm not yet sure what my channel will be all about. All I know is that I really enjoy photography. So there will be plenty of photography on this channel. As you may see, I've got a beautiful bouquet of roses over here. And they have actually given me an idea for photography. So I, I have two photographs in my mind. One is where I imagine my hand sideways like this and a rose levitating above it with petals floating around it. And the second photograph is a portrait of myself where I'm standing sideways and the rose is levitating over here again. I think it can be pretty cool, pretty dramatic, pretty poetic. Not sure how it will turn out of course because often it's easier said than done. But it looks cool in my head, I want to get it out there, so let's do it. Right, so I've made this pretty cheap uh, studio type of setting. This fabric is just from the market, paid like 10 euros for it. The table was already here. These light stands are from Amazon, from the brand Newer. Also from Amazon, Amazon, Newer, Wally Max, a Godox SL60W. And the most important part, some tape and some fishing wire. I just plan on attaching the fishing wire around the rows. And I'll attach that to the ceiling. That way it'll levitate. With Photoshop we can easily remove the rope. And uh, yeah, let's do it. The fishing wire. Okay. Just a regular knot, which won't be visible because of the pretty leaves. Fantastic. Pretty cool. Cutting off a piece of the rose because it didn't feel like the rose was in balance but now the weight has completely shifted so it's hanging downwards gotta fix that with some more rope I think well now that the rose is in place we can start to do photography I'm using a monitor to see myself rose hangs over here Fantastic. So this is more or less the situation. At the moment I do think that the light on the rose is a little bit maybe too flat or something because when I put my hand there it's just not dramatic enough. There's too much light on my hand, I want to see more shadow. I've got my wire trigger in my other hand. Let's just see how it turns out. I'm sure I'll have to adjust the light, but let's, let's just take a test photo. One, two. Let's have a quick look. like it just doesn't look so good or interesting in camera and I think it's maybe because of the black background I should have gone with something different because once I stand like behind the rose it's already much more interesting so I'm thinking maybe I'll make the background gray or something different okay here are some things that I've discovered a white t-shirt isn't working too well because it gets way faster overexposed than the rest.
black on black isn't ideal. So I'm, th I'm thinking that I'm gonna change my t-shirt to something different. And a bit of my pants will be visible, so I'll change them as well. And maybe I'll bring in a second light, just a flash, to give a touch of color to the background, and maybe I'll change it to gray. Okay, I placed a second light over here. And I have a pretty good feeling about this. Let's see. One more. It's actually pretty cool, but now I really do not like the background. It should have been seamless paper. You know what? I am, I'm honestly struggling with this because I don't work often in a studio not everything is ideal I feel like if I had a roll of paper seamless then this would have been really cool then you would have seen that it's like trash but now it's a bit difficult and frustrating and slowly but surely I'm getting there but it's really taking a lot of time this video might seem pretty quick and flawless and whatever but uh, yeah, it's just a hassle, you know, adjusting every little thing, pulling in this and that, bringing a flashlight from above. It's, uh, yeah, you, 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 yeah, you just gotta do it, but it ain't that easy. I think I want to feather the light even more so that there's less on me, so that I'm a bit darker. Okay, I really need to change these pants, one moment. Back to the black shirt and jeans, let's see. I feel like we are getting there. You know what? I feel like I might be able to fix the background in post. You know, these cracks, these... These creeps. Creeps. These folds, these lines. But I'll go iron them quick. my best to quickly iron out any false creaks or whatever out of this fabric. I think it's a little bit better. Let's see. It's getting late, it's getting warm, I'm getting tired, but we gotta finish this. Using my remote trigger, throwing it away and then taking my pose. Now that I feather, feathered the light, it's not shining directly on me, but only like the edges of it, the feathers. Even without the background flash, it's, look, it's looking so much better. That's like a happy accident because I used my trigger, but my little flash here behind me didn't go off. I was honestly feeling like giving up, starting to get tired because the results just weren't, weren't good. I've been busy for like a few hours now, but now we're getting somewhere and that gives me energy. Uh, okay, let's go. Okay, I've put so much effort into this. One final touch, change these pants again to black jeans so that all you can see is only my arms and my face and I fade into black. Black jeans, please let this be the final change. Man, the struggle, the struggle back there, it was real. I struggled. That took quite some time to get to a point where I was happy with the photograph that I was taking. If you've made it this far into the video, I would like to thank you because this video takes quite some time. Uh, yeah, maybe it was a bit dramatic back there, but that's really how I felt, you know. 
And uh, you don't really see that often on YouTube. Because when I look at other photographers, they do like a studio tutorial. They put a light here, a light there, strike a pose with the model. And uh, yeah, they got a flawless, perfect photo, but it's not that easy. And yeah, I don't often see those struggles and I thought it could be refreshing to, to show them to you. The most interesting and fun part of all of this is that yesterday evening when I was shooting and filming that, I was thinking like, oh man, no, this, this isn't good at all. I, I, I don't feel comfortable sharing this. But now that I have slept, now that I'm rested, I'm looking at those pictures again and I'm seriously happy with them. I, uh, I think I'll even put them in my portfolio because, yeah, I'm that happy with them. Important things that I've learned is to feather the light. Uh, let me show you quickly how that looks. That's me right now, that's this setup. The light isn't shining directly on me, only like the edges of the light, it's feathering. Yeah, this is what you call feathering, only like the softest light gets to me because in the center it's more concentrated and over here you get the nice soft light. The video is not over yet, we're almost done though. I still need to do a few things back there. I'm gonna throw some rose petals in front of the camera so that I can add them later into the photograph in Photoshop. And I'm gonna strike a few more poses to, uh, <laughs> yeah, to see what looks good and what doesn't. This one is one of my favorites, I think. I just like the way the hand goes. It's like all in balance, centered pretty well. And yeah, it just looks quite magical, pretty cool, I think. So what feathering the light allows you to do with photography is, as you can see, I'm pretty dark, I'm almost not visible, but my hands and the rose, they are catching all of the light. And if the light wasn't feathered, then it would also spill on me, on my face, and then it just wouldn't have looked the same. Now it's quite mysterious and dramatic. I'll only edit this photo quickly. And uh, yeah, these photos are pretty basic. They don't have too much color in them, so I won't be doing anything crazy with the HSL sliders. And yeah, I just want to keep them simple and classic, you know, because it's just a rose with a lot of black and I want to keep it simple. Okay, so I've now edited the photo, I've exported it, I've also exported these rose petals which I was throwing in front of the camera. Time to edit it in Photoshop. Right, so once again with the patch tool over here, I'm gonna remove this. That's the rose, and when you take these petals, you throw it above it, you change the blend mode into screen, we'll just erase the rose in the middle, and don't forget to remove the rest of the wire, and we've got ourselves some petals.